Welcome back, everyone. You are looking in at Drew Edmondson right now, just getting the nod on the Democratic side. Let's listen in over at the Waterford. That we face instead of talking about the catchphrases of the past. We want programs and solutions for the future of the state of Oklahoma. We're not living in the past. We're building a future that our grandchildren can be proud of. And so I invite all Republicans who share with me the concern that we have about what has happened to the state of Oklahoma and what needs to be done in the future to join us in this effort. We can win a great victory, not a party, but a principle. Join with me and help build a future for the state of Oklahoma. And I want to make it clear to everybody in this room and everybody who might hear the sound of my voice either tonight or later on that this campaign is not over. And it won't be over on November 6th. This campaign won't be over until our schools have the support that they need, our teachers have the salary they deserve, and our children are given the future that will build this state. All right, you are listening live to Drew Edmondson, who we now know is going to be the Democratic candidate for Oklahoma governor. This was the first race called by the AP, defeated Connie Johnson. And in that, he was calling on Republicans to join over those who are unhappy with the way that Oklahoma is going right now. There's a very tight race for Oklahoma Republican governor. Do you think any Republicans are going to jump ship and go over to Drew Edmondson's side anytime soon? I, I think so. I think when you look at right now, there are already four incumbent Republican House members who've been defeated tonight. You've got the incumbent lieutenant governor who's in trouble and, and the incumbent corporation commissioner's not going to win outright tonight. The incumbent state superintendent's not going to win outright tonight. You have a lot of disaffected Republican voters, and General Edmondson is exactly right to try to appeal to them. Uh, it's Oklahoma, so there's more Republican voters than Democrats. He's got to have them in order to win. I think this election environment and what we see tonight shows that there are a lot of folks out there up for grabs that may not have been up for grabs a couple of years ago, and I think Drew's got a great shot to get them. Representative Kevin Wallace, what's your reaction as a Republican, if you need to get that? That's totally fine. Very okay. casual here. We've been on for several hours with you. Are you concerned as a Republican with what's going on with so many of your incumbents? Uh, you know, I'm not concerned. Uh, you know, whenever you look at the sessions that we've been in, um, these runoffs that we're going into, if, if you look at the Republicans in the House that have not completely 100 percent of it looks like they're going to lose their seat right so ones that voted no on the revenue and not supporting teacher pay raises back to drew's comment I, I have a feeling that there will be perhaps some republicans that vote for drew edmondson and i feel like there will be some democrats that will vote for our republican candidate also in oklahoma oh, really so. quickly who's that republican candidate going to be if we have these numbers because it is so close right now we're talking just one or two percent separating first from third so we could have a runoff if we have these numbers mayor mick cornett has been a oh, former o oklahoma city mayor mick cornett now polling at 28 percent lieutenant governor todd lamb 25 percent kevin stitt 24 percent it's going to be neck and neck a photo finish all night long we'll keep you posted here we'll